welcome to the final episode of the AR Build Series 3.0. Today I'm just going to be kind of going over the my final thoughts of the build and a couple of additions that I've added uh, kind of at the last minute and didn't do any videos on. So we'll get some close-ups so we can really see the color on that handguard and upper and lower So again, I went with the, the barrel is going to be a ballistic advantage 8.3 inch modern series or pencil barrel. Uh, really enjoyed my time with the barrel. Uh, I've got, I don't know, maybe 400 rounds through it so far. And the Macon Armory is modifications that were done to the feed cone uh, definitely helped out in regards to using uh, more defensive style ammo flat tip ammo and nothing really negative to report on the barrel itself and just using your standard a2 birdcage style flash hider and the loophole delta point pro no problems there really enjoy this optic i personally have it on i think this is my third gun i put it on and nothing to report bad about the mount or anything. Charging handle is awesome. I love the Geisley airborne charging handle. Super easy to grip on either side you want to pull it on. So one kind of change I did make is I did add the addition of an ambidextrous safety selector. Uh, this is just a standard scalloped one I had in my parts bin. And so it still allows you to hold your trigger finger out, uh, but it has that recess in it. That way it's not digging into your finger. No problems with trigger pins walking out during firing or anything like that. I am using the Aero Precision uh, hardened steel trigger pins. So back to the buffer tube and buffer. I did try both the Aero Precision uh, buffer, and I'll throw in some video here of me using that real quick, of the Aero Precision one. So with the Aero Precision one, I, the best way to describe it is it kind of felt like I was being punched in the shoulder by using that one. It's very heavy, doesn't really have anything to soak up any recoil. Now the Macon Armory one was a huge difference in regards to felt recoil. And I think that that's because of the use of the shot that is put in here, the little lead balls. They do a good job of moving around and soaking up a lot of that recoil. So I am going to be running the Macon Armory buffer in there exclusively. And he suggested that I use a carbine spring. Uh, no problems with the carbine spring. I didn't even try this with a 308 spring like Aero Precision includes in the box. So yeah, I highly recommend if you're going to build an EPC, to go with the Macon Armory uh, buffer. Second magazine is going to be with the Macon Armory Dead Blow buffer and a carbon spring. So I also wanted to discuss the magazines I did try out. So on the cheaper end, I did use uh, ETS mags with no issues. Magpul magazines, no issues. As well as uh, Glock OEM magazines and no issues on all three. As far as ammo goes, I did use 
uh, some factory 115 grain, uh, some 124 grain reloads of mine, um, and some other 124 grain reloads of mine that were underpowered. Those ones did have some cycling issues, mainly just failure to eject uh, the casing, and I think that could be resolved with re either reducing the buffer weight or reducing the weight on the bolt carrier group. Uh, but other than that, no issues with defensive ammo or any of my other reloads or factory ammo. So, two additions I made were both the grip panels and a light. So I went with the Surefire Mini Scout Light Pro. It's got 500 lumens. Uh, I needed something really short. I was going to go with the Micro, but I've, I already threw that on a different gun and, and wanted to try out the Mini. So I wanted something with a Z68 tail cap. Didn't want to use any uh, any uh, pads or anything like that. I, I may do it on this gun specifically, but uh, usually I run a light on the left side to reach my thumb up. Uh, but this one, just because of the lack of rail space, I did have to run it on the right side. So adjust my grip a little bit and I can hit that light right there. I also got the Magpul handstop kit. Uh, this just allows me to have an indexing point. That way I don't push my hand farther than the rail is. And it also comes with one of these panels. Uh, it also comes with an, a, a curved grip. Uh, I didn't have enough rail space to run that. If it did have a full M-lock slot there, I could. But yeah, no problems with this. I really like these Magpul uh, rail covers. They had a lot of nice grip and heat mitigation if you have any. Uh, these 9mm ARs don't really produce a whole lot of heat, even under a uh, high rate of fire. But yeah, no problems to report here. Uh, mag release works great. Last round bolt hold open works great. I know a couple people had problems with that pin that does uh, enable the last round bolt hold open to function. Uh, the, the fix to that is just bending the curved piece on the inside of the upper. But yeah, if you guys have any questions on the, the bill here uh, or any of the particular parts, optic, uh, barrel, charging handle or anything like that, Drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to get back with you. Thank you guys for watching.